Libras. We're ending with Libras. Libras happen to be uh, one of my most favorite signs. So they have a very special place in my heart, which means I'm going to be a little bit harder on them than I have been on the other signs. Um, they are ruled by Venus. Uh, they share that planet with Taurus, but they feel very different than Taurians. They are the element of air and they uh, they represent the, what we're, what represents them is the um, scales and you see the scales of justice. They're all about uh, trying to uh, find peace. They're all about trying to find that middle ground of um, even keeled, everything's okay. They're the most friendly of all the signs because they will literally sell their soul in order for you not to be angry at them. As they grow older, they don't care as much. Um, but they really do not like um, discord. They really, really are incredibly uncomfortable around discord. And what's secret about uh, Libra is they're amazingly competitive, super competitive, like you'd be surprised. So Gandhi was a Libra. And I always love to say Gandhi was a Libra because if you think of Gandhi, you think of this, this particular man who started off being quite arrogant, really well-educated, English educated, um, and had a great deal of money and was a lawyer and would fight, uh, you know, uh, sorry, he would work in order to make a lot of money for his family and he would wear English clothes at that time because that was the height of uh, England was still ruling uh, in India. And so, and then one day when he was in South Africa, they kicked him off the first class train because he was Indian and he had a spiritual awakening. And then he started fighting for uh, his people and for the right for his people. But the thing that's so amazing about him, the reason I'm talking about him, that Libra, that Libra thing is that he he, when you listened to him, when he was able to confront his own ego and realized that everybody was his friend, everyone, England, America, there was no enemy. There was bad behavior and there was uh, being proud of your own country. And he really believed that the Indians should rule India, which makes sense. And he, this one man, was able to, by going to prison numerous times, was able to kick England out of India. And and what did he have at that point? He was literally wearing like a dhoti all the time, just a dhoti. He had no teeth left. You know, he, he I just love that story of him because if you hear him say, I have no enemies, everyone, is my friend and with that strength and that power and that love and that depth of meaning that truth and from him Martin Luther King studied the way he behaved the what he did and so there was a, a lot of freedom not nearly as much as there can be but there was a lot of uh, awakening during the 60s before Martin Luther King was murdered so and Martin Luther King, Capricorn, Pisces Moon, uh, deep feeler, wouldn't give up, kept going, but felt everything. And uh, so back to the Libra. So Libra, is a, it's a masculine sign. It's even though they're, they can appear quite easy, they, they have this fluidity to them where they're super likable. Like they just are, they're the most popular signs. They're the most um, enjoyed. They are the friendliest. And yet they have a bunch of challenges with that. The challenges can be that uh, they don't always want to be friendly. They don't always want to be on and they don't want you to be mad at them and they don't want to make other people upset. Um, so they can be duplicitous at times. They can say one thing and do something else. And it's not because they're evil or they're mean. It's because it, 
it's so challenging for them to say, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. That can be really hard for a Libra to directly come out and say how they're feeling. It doesn't mean it's not possible. Imagine a Libra with uh, Aries in their chart or Scorpio. Those Scorpio and Aries, they're the most direct of all the signs in the Zodiac. So if you have those two signs or Sagittarius, which everything just comes out of their mouth, then you're going to have more of a chance of the people being able to speak what they need or even Capricorn if they're working and you're interrupting their work they'll be really polite about it but they'll get their work done and uh and they'll politely let you know that they need to get their work done so when they're in balance they do have the ability <laughs> to kick England out of their country and what I mean by that is they have the ability to politely say the things that nobody else wants to say so when they're in that balance, they have this, they call them the um, iron fist in a velvet glove. So they're really powerful, but they cover it with kindness. But what they're doing is super, super direct. Um, I cannot even tell you how many Libras I have in my life. Uh, I have two that have the same birthday. That's how many I have. Um, one of my most favorite exes in the, in the entire world was a Libra, and I can use him as an example, which I'm sure he's probably going to listen to this, um, of how profound and beautiful uh, Libras and balance can be. So when I was young dating this man, um, I was a terror. I'm sure you could all imagine what kind of terror I was. I was a terror with a capital T. Uh, so sorry all ex-boyfriends. So sorry. So sorry. My bad. <laughs> so I was a terror and I was, I was in uh, going into my fight, going into fight or flight it would normally be just fight. So I was going into my fight and he would say to me, he go, he'd start to fight with me and he was way smarter than I am way smarter, but he would stop himself and he would say, I'm not doing this with you. I'm not doing this because the truth is I'm on your team. I'm your teammate. I'm your cheerleader. I'm cheering you on. And what about the other thing he'd say? Um, um, you don't know how great you are. Like if I'd start getting snarly, he would say, you don't know how great you are. Like you're the best thing since sliced bread and you don't even know it. You don't even know it. So it w it wasn't because he was manipulating me. It was because he would actually choose, this is an amazing quality as a human being in general, he would choose instead of going into that snarly and meeting that energy that was coming at him, he would have enough courage in that moment, enough awareness to say, I'm not, I'm not, this is not what I want to participate in. I do not want to participate in this. Not only do I not want to participate in this, I love you. I love you. And I remember like he would say things like that to me and I would literally like the demon in me, the ego in me would be like, nah, I'd never heard these words before in this way. So I'd be like, I just remember being like, I can't, I don't even know what it would just shut me up because there was no way, there was no way for me to deal with that. And, uh, and what a gift, what an amazing, incredible loving gift to give another human being to teach them that they do not have to fight and that they're loved even when they behave badly no a lot of human beings don't do that we don't and that's actually those are the ones we need to love the most is when we behave badly not to approve of bad behavior but to let that person know that that they're loved so um, let's see if there's anything else I can say about that gorgeous sign. Um, they also, they can be really insecure. I'm sorry to say this out loud, where they just don't feel like they're enough. And we could say that about any sign or any human being, but the Libras, especially when they're younger, um, they can go through periods where they just feel like people have something better than they do, more than they have, more beauty, more strength. 
uh, more popularity, more something. It's like trying to achieve this goal that they can never reach. And the thing that's crazy about that is that they are absolutely amazing. So that whole trying to reach something else or judging yourself, thinking that somebody else has something more than you do. Um, one, I'm going to say something, two things. One, it's not true. And two, of course, we have different gifts. Um, and some are, they're different. They're always different. But what we have in our hearts and the things we have to offer are, are incredible. And the more we're able to touch on that, that's where we're that's where the juice is. So to end it really quickly, if you want an astrological reading, go to hudsonlike.com. And um, I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love doing it. Mwah. All right.